What if I told you trout see dark reds as bright reds? Let's discuss. What is up fish people and welcome back. In today's video, we discuss how trout see color. When light hits an object, there are two possibilities. It can either reflect or absorb. Colors which are reflected are capable of being interpreted by the human eye, while the absorbed colors are left behind. These reflected light waves hit the retina in the back of the eye, where the reflected light is then interpreted by the fovea centrialis, a region of the retina comprised of millions of rod cells which view color in monochrome, black and white, and cone cells which interpret color. The stimulated cone cells send information to the visual cortex of the brain via the optic nerve, which process the information and allows you to see and perceive color. The human eye has three types of cone cells, red, green, and blue, while trout have four, red, green, blue, and ultraviolet. The cones react strongly to different wavelengths of light, which correspond to different colors within the light spectrum. Here is an image showing the approximate peaks in sensitivity of each of the three cones within a human eye. Notice that the peak for red is around 565 nanometers, green, 535, and blue, 440. In an excerpt from popular fly tire John Bernard Sunderland's Color Vision in Trout, he recognizes that a trout's optical sensitivity is different than that of a human with regards to the red cone, having a peak response point where a human red cone begins tailing off. An image showing the peaks in sensitivity of each of the four cones within a brown trout eye displays that the peak for red is around 600 nanometers. Green and blue are the same at 535 and 440 nanometers respectively, and UV exists around 355 nanometers. This difference illustrates the idea how trout don't have the same color sensitivity as humans do when using this red cone to perceive color, and that they also have a UV cone differing from humans as well. A result of the sensitivity difference of the red cone, noted by Sunderland, leads to the rich dark red colors perceived by humans, looking as much more brilliant, saturated reds to trout. Under Sunderland's observation, knowledge of this variation in a trout's physical optical biology could have useful applications extending to fly selection in the field, where a darker red fly may become more useful in lower light conditions compared to its light red counterpart, since the trout sees a much brighter color visible in lower light conditions. Examples of flies which utilize this dark red color to their advantage are the dark red squirmy or the San Juan. He finishes this discussion by stating, it is clear that a trout possesses the mechanism for full color vision as we know it and with a somewhat wider range. But how the trout brain assesses the combined cone response and resulting subjective experience is perhaps impossible to prove. Hope you guys learned something. Have a great day and thanks for watching.